Hey there, planners. It is time for me to close out this summer planner, which I have thoroughly enjoyed. This is a B6 Stology that I've used for the past few summer months. And now I'm ready to move on to my next planner, which will carry me through the fall. And I'm so excited to introduce you to this new planner. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. So I recently did a flip through fully of this planner, which I have been using May, June, and July. And we are coming to the very end of July. And so this planner is very full. I've used almost the whole planner and these last few pages I've been using just for note taking and planning for what I want in my next planner and really getting ready to transition out of this guy. This has been a fantastic uh, summer planner. I have thoroughly enjoyed it and if you want to see a full flip through of everything in this planner and how I used it, I will have the full flip video listed down in the description box below. Um, I have lots of videos about how I choose my next planner. If you are looking to s move to a new system or thinking about how to, you know, really hone in on your planner system needs, I will have a video link down below. It's all about how you mind map your planner system needs. I did a miniature version of this coming to the end of this planner and thinking about my next planner and uh, really helped me hone in on exactly what I needed. So we are saying goodbye to this B6 Stology. I have loved you. You have been wonderful. Thank you so much for your service and now it's time to introduce what's next. After much research and shopping and planning, I am excited to introduce you to this guy. This is going to be my fall planner for the months of August, September, and October. Uh, maybe longer, but at least for the next three months, this is the little beauty that I will be relying on to help me stay organized and get all the things done I need to get done. So if you're not familiar with this, this is the Erin Condren folio system that holds Erin Condren Petite Planners or other A5 items. I won't say that I have set this up to be a holistic Erin Condren folio system because it is slightly modified. Of course, I had to modify it a bit, uh, but I am using some of the Erin Condren folio system tools. So let me talk before I get into the guts and how this is set up. Let me talk just a minute about why I'm going with this system. So when I sat down and mapped out my planning needs for the next few months, I realized that I really wanted to have several sections um, for health, for dailies, for monthly planning, um, for notes. Uh, I, there's just several sections that I needed and I wanted the flexibility to be able to pull out sections and for example my grocery list. I want to have something smaller, easy to carry around portable that I can pull out and take with me to the grocery store. Things like that. So that kind of led me down the path of traveler's notebook systems where you have one cover that holds multiple books. And in shopping around, I thought a good sort of middle step between my B6 Stology and notebooks, which I have been using for some time, into a traveler's notebook would be the Erin Condren folio system. It's a little bit larger than most uh, standard size traveler notebooks, um, and I still can use, you know, A5 type bullet journal, bullet grid style notebooks inside. So this is a good middle ground between notebook planning, bullet journal planning, and traveler's notebook. So I'm using this sort of as, as a testing stepping stone for myself uh, to test out, do I enjoy the traveler's notebook style system? Now I will say, Traveler's notebooks seem to be making a comeback. If you are watching, you know, a content on Instagram or YouTube or, you know, other content sources about planning and the planning community, you may also be noticing a resurgence in Traveler's notebooks. They are coming back. They are making a comeback. That's my prediction for the end of the year and going into next year. I believe you're going to see a lot more Traveler's notebooks. And I think the functionality, there's, there's a lot there to be attractive in the functionality. So I thought I would give this a try to kind of ease 
ease my way into the Traveler Notebook world. I have used Traveler's Notebooks in the past for specific items like faith planning. I'll have a video linked down below about how I used a Traveler's Notebook for a good period of time for all of my spiritual and faith planning, Bible reading plans, prayers, things like that. Um, but for everyday carry, everyday planning, I haven't actually fully dived into a Traveler's Notebook system. So this should be interesting testing ground. I want to see if I like it, how it works for me, and I'm excited to share all of that with you. So let's get into the setup. All right, so right off the bat, the cover. This is an Erin Condren vegan leather uh, folio system cover. It is A5, but it is just a little slimmer than uh, like a Bixology A5. The measurements are just slightly different. Um, some A5s can fit in here, some cannot, so you really have to pay attention to the sizes. Um, it has an elastic closure. Um, and I have attached to the front this today clip. This is just a, a very large paper clip. I thought this was super cute for decor. It's a little big and heavy for actually using as a page marker, but I really thought it was nice um, for, you know, the front for decor. This is an awesome sort of sassy leopard pattern or cheetah pattern in this gray and black. I thought this was just so perfect for going into fall. Um, I think animal prints just scream fall to me, and so I'm excited to use some animal prints in here. Uh, I'm really excited to have this cover. I think it's going to be really nice. Size-wise, I have it pretty stacked full. Um, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. If you just compare it to my B6 Stology, though, it's actually, while it's smaller as far as height, w you know, thickness-wise, it's not that different from what my B6 Stology ended up being. But again, this is individual notebooks on elastics that I can pull out. So there's a bit more flexibility there. All right, so let's get inside. So what I have done on the inside, when you get this cover, it's just a plain cover with four elastics. Um, it doesn't have pockets. It doesn't have, you know, what you would typically see inside like a notebook cover, a Moterm notebook cover. So I picked up this cover, several notebooks, and several accessories from one of two places, either the Erin Condren store I happen to have a gift card plus some Erin Condren points from previous orders that were about to expire. So I did do a little bit of shopping on the Erin Condren website. However, the other place that you can find Erin Condren goodies is on Amazon. And I actually picked up a lot of this stuff, like this pocket here and this clip. I picked them up during Prime Day on Amazon. I will have all of the supplies listed down below, the things that I could get on Amazon. I'll have those linked to Amazon. And then I'll also have a link to the Erin Condren site. Now, one thing to know about the petite folio system and the petite planners, um, Aaron Condren typically in the past has released updates and new systems in the September timeframe. Um, so there could be some new items coming out. This is a good time to get petite folio items at discounts or on sale because new items are getting ready to be released. And if you want to try out this system to see if this might be something that you want to use next year. Uh, it's a good time to kind of dry run and test it. And I highly recommend you do that if you're going to test out a new system. So I did attach a sticky pocket here. This is just attached. It's sticky on the back. It's um, This is actually an Erin Condren sticky pocket. However, I have found some really great sticky pockets on Amazon that I have used in planners in the past. I'll have those linked down below and that would work here as well. Um, I have this card from Simply Gilded. This was from a Simply Gilded subscription box last year. Um, it's got this really awesome tropical pattern with uh, with the, uh, the palm trees on it. So I just have that stuck in there kind of for decor. I'm not sure what else I might end up using this for. Okay, the first item that I have, so it actually fits around the front and back uh, of the planner. Um, there's, it goes, you know, through through the front and back here. Um, it is a pocket, a clear pocket system, um, just to hold. You've got three card slots here, two card slots here, and then on the back, it has a large pocket 
here for stickers or other things uh, and then you can see the pattern on the back. What I have done with this is actually put a little bit of decor on the front. So um, this is my This Planner Belongs To. I think this is a freebie from Pran uh, Planner Press. Uh, I'll look it up and have it linked down below. But I have my contact information, but I just put in this little uh, card with the cheetah print on it to cover up my personal information so it's not visible. You know, if I were to lose this planner for some reason, someone could pull this card out and see my contact information. I have this little card that actually comes from uh, my Planner Press uh, digital dash box subscription. Um, I thought this was perfect, the shoes with the animal print on them. And then I have these little cards that I made with uh, monthly calendars on them for uh, the next few months and I'll just keep them in here and uh, you know keep whatever month is current on top. So that's what's in this portion. In the back I just have this cute little journaling card with um, the uh, jungle stickers on it and then a, a card um, that says I hope you feel beautiful today. So just so, a little bit of decor. So that's what's in here. I could certainly use this for stickers or you know other items that I end up picking up as needed. Okay. Now we get into the petite planners. So the, the way this works, I have very much like a, a traveler's notebook, you have elastics. Um, and there are four elastics in this, in this cover. Um, so you kind of open up your planner and put to the middle page and just put your planner right on the elastic. Um, I did not like the covers. <laughs> so I liked a little bit more of a cohesive look. As you can tell, I'm kind of sticking with the animal print, jungle, sort of, that's my theme for this planner and this fall. Um, so I, this to me did not really go well. This, this is the cover of the blank monthly calendar uh, from Erin Condren. This is a petite planner. I got this off Amazon, but I didn't really like the way these colors, you know, mesh with the overall theme. So I made some covers um, and let me pull this back out and I'll show you how I did this. So it's not actually attached to the petite planner itself. This is a, uh, couple of pieces of cardstock that I uh, cut down to size to match the size of the planner cover. Then I ran them through the laminator, had two pieces laminated, and then I just laid them side by side and I used some clear packing tape to create the spine. Um, and there it is, my, my DIY cover. So it's really just wrapped around the cover um, and, you know, just covers up those bright colors that don't really kind of go with my theme here. So this makes it easy for me to change out because what if I decide in October, I really want to go with like a pumpkin theme, right? Um, I can easily slide this out and do the same thing to create another wrap around overlay that then changes the theme of my planner. So that's, I've done that with each of the books that are in here. Um, so you'll see, you know, the different, the different covers that I created right now. My theme is very much animal print. So my first insert is a monthly uh, calendar, a book of monthly calendars. So when I sat down to map out what is it that I need in my next planner system, one of the keys for me was having the monthly calendars as a future log. I talked a lot about it in my B6stology. In the very front of my B6stology, I had the summer months uh, in calendar form at the very beginning, and I used these as a monthly calendar, but also as a future log. This was extremely handy for me, and I knew I wanted to have that same concept in my next planner system. So this is actually an undated calendar from Erin uh, Condren. I could not find this on the Erin Condren website, but I did find it on Amazon. So the reason I liked it being undated is because these planner books from Erin Condren come with a Sunday start. Not a fan of the Sunday start. I've talked about this before. I know this is a hotly debated issue in the planner community, but for me, the calendar starts on Monday, not Sunday. So I needed an undated one so that I could easily create 
um, you know, a Monday start calendar. Let me show you what a blank calendar looks like so you can see how easy it was for me to, um, to you know, date this and change this. I've already put labels on top of the days of the week, but this is what the blank calendars look like. They just have little circles that you can plug in the dates for. So I went ahead and set up August, September, October, and November, and December. So I've got the rest of this year in here to use as a future log. I already have dates, key dates plugged in. Um, that I am aware of so I can continue to populate this and keep this in this planner book. The other thing I have made sure to save myself some space for is where I have this highlight at the bottom, I'm actually going to be writing in meal plan. So this is where I'll put in what we're having for dinner um, and what I need to shop for, you know, at the grocery store. I'll have that in here. So this is my first book. It has 12 monthly calendars, undated monthly calendars. So I've got room to keep going if I want to, if I decide I really like this system and I want to stick with it. And then it just has note pages, lined note pages. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with these lined note pages, um, but there are a good amount of lined note pages in here. So it's a lot of options to include in here. I'm just not quite sure what I want to use this for yet. If you have ideas and you've used the uh, petite planner system before, please let me know uh, how you use those note pages. It does come with all of the planner books come, uh, Erin Condor and Petite planner books come with uh, stickers in the back. So that's really nice and a really nice folder here. So um, that is my first insert into the new folio system. All right, the second book in my petite planner system is a blank A5 dot grid uh, traveler's notebook. I got these off Amazon. They are fantastic. I had to really hunt because not all A5 inserts will fit the Erin Condren petite planner folio. So I really had to search the measurements, read reviews, <laughs> make sure I knew exactly what size it was going to be, but these worked. I will have these linked down below. Um, if you are using the Erin Condren folio cover, these A5 notebooks will fit. There are 80 pages in this book, um, which is perfect for a monthly for me. So that includes enough room for me to do weekly setups, uh, daily pages for every day, plus some notes, um, as many notes as I want to. There's plenty of room in here uh, for one month. So I am going to be using this for my weekly and daily pages and my notes. This is going to mimic what I have used the B6stology for as far as daily pages, journaling, notes, running to-do list, all of that stuff. I really felt like I needed this in my system. I have been really enjoying using daily pages. It's one of my favorite parts about using a notebook for a planner is that you have that flexibility just to turn the page and you know do whatever you need to do on that page. So I really wanted to have this, and this is why I call this a modified Erin Condren uh, petite planner system because this is not an Erin Condren pro product um, and I really felt like I needed something like this. I have just put some stickers on here to say August 2022 and a couple of gold foil, you know, kind of leaf patterns. I did do a little bit of decorating on the inside. I have a quick reference monthly calendar here. And then um, I took this image off of Pixabay, printed it out, um, and I added some text in here. And this says, uh, ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. And um, this is a song. I love this song. I'm also thinking about my uh, oldest daughter in the month of August is moving off to college. And so um, I'm feeling a little emotional. So I wanted to make sure to kind of pull that into my monthly planner. So after that, it's just blank pages, dot grid pages. Um, and, you know, I'm really excited about this part and being able to use the creativity, do what I need to do on these pages. I will have a setup, an August setup video um, for what I'm doing in this planner, so make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned for that.
All right, the next insert I have in here, my third book that I have in here, I have again put the cover on um, that just wraps around the outside of this planner in the same way, uh, laminating them and then connecting them with some packing tape. If you were interested in seeing the actual process for how I made these, I think these would be great for, you know, a lot of different options, other like standard size traveler's notebooks or others. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. All right, so this planner book is a Erin Condren Petite Planner, and it is the Wellness Log. I have been on a fitness journey. I have been also kind of struggling with where to capture all of this information. I have a couple of apps that I'm using on my phone um, to track, you know, calories, burns, steps. I also have an app to use for um, food logging, calorie tracking, all of that stuff. Um, but you know me, I like to write things down. <laughs> I like paper. So I have been transferring that some of that information, at least summary totals and things like that, uh, into my planner or into a additional notebook. And I've just kind of been struggling with how to pull it all together. I absolutely love the fact that I can have a dedicated notebook for my wellness journey that I'm on in my planner, but separate from, you know, my monthly plans, daily plans, all of that stuff, but it's still right here. So I'm really excited about incorporating this into my planner system. When I sat down to map out what my planner system needs were, this was one of the needs to really have a condensed, consolidated place to capture all of my wellness information. And this was just the perfect solution. So this, I did get off the Erin Condren website, but you can also get this off Amazon as well. And um, the way that this is set up, it has a place for starting point information, measurements, weight, uh, kind of a vision board uh, or photos area, uh, a place to talk about your goals. And then it goes right into uh, weekly pages. And there are six months of weekly pages in here. And the information that I can capture here by day, Monday through Sunday, is activity, um, habits, so water intake, steps, hours slept uh, for each day of the week, and then a place to meal log, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Um, absolutely love this. This is exactly the information that I want to be able to capture on a daily basis. I want to capture, you know, calories, count calories, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, any snacks. And then the reason I'm capturing calories is because I'm targeting a deficit, you know, in my calorie intake versus calories burned uh, on a weekly basis. So I do want to see that and measure progress as far as, you know, what, what's happening with calories as well as activity levels, um, water intake, all of that. So these pages are going to be fantastic. I'm super excited about having this. And then at the end of each month, there is a monthly progress page, which I also love. So a place to put in your measurements, which I have been doing anyway on a monthly basis. Um, talk about your accomplishments, your goal progress, plans for next month, just, I'm really loving the layout of this and the fact that I can have it all in one place. And so that is um, really the full layout of this. It's just weeks and monthly progress pages all the way through for six months. So this is going to be fantastic. And then also a um, really cool set of stickers here. I'm excited about using these stickers. Um, love the colors. So uh, really nice additional accessory that comes with the wellness uh, log. So this solves a problem for me. Um, I am super excited about having this in a dedicated spot in my planner system for, uh, for the fall. My last insert also solves a problem that I have had with my past couple of planning, planners that I've used. Um, I've talked about this in the B6stology as well as in my Hobonichi cousin. I like to take a grocery list to the grocery store, a handwritten grocery list. Now I know, I know that there are apps that you can use for that. I know, it, I just like to write things down. It's just the way my brain works. I like to write things down. I like to have my grocery list written in the order of the aisles of my grocery store. I know what you're thinking, that's a little crazy. I get it, I, I embrace my craziness. It's part of who I am. So. I needed a place to have a grocery list. Well, the problem with that is as these planners grow, 
they become thicker and thicker and these notebooks are harder and harder to carry to the grocery store because they're getting so thick. Same thing happened in my Hovenichi cousin. I was putting my grocery list in there initially and it was very easy to take that to the grocery store, lay it up on my purse in the cart. Same thing with this. But as it grows and gets thicker, it gets harder and harder to carry around. Introducing the solution that I have found to this, when I mapped out my planner system needs, this was one of the problems that I wanted to solve. And so I have incorporated a productivity checklist book. Um, this is from Erin Condren. It has lined pages and then a checklist here. This is perfect for my grocery list. So the way I'm thinking about using this is just, just as I have in my previous grocery list, you know, list out the sections of the grocery store, you know, produce, meat and deli, all of that stuff, list my groceries here, have my meal plan for the next, you know, whatever period I'm grocery shopping for here. And when I go to the grocery store, I don't have to carry this whole thing. I can just pull this one book out and take this, this with me to the grocery store. I did put another uh, cover on this. Um, and made it the same way uh, by laminating and using the packing tape so it just wraps around. Um, I think this is a beautiful book. I think this cover is beautiful, but it does not go at all with the theme that I have going on um, in, in the planner. So I wanted to cover that up. So um, that's what this is. It's just blank uh, lines and list all the way through the whole book. And so that is going to last me a good while, um, thinking that I use one spread for every grocery trip. So that's the last planner book that I have, something that I can easily pull out and take with me. All right, that brings us to the back of the planner where I have the back side of the, um, the card pocket folio that starts here. This is the front side goes back behind all the planners. This is the back side. It has this great huge pocket here and I'm thinking of slipping in stickers that I use on a regular basis or receipts, you know, it just anything I need to access quickly. I did go ahead and put in a piece of cardstock in the back with the uh, cheetah print theme on it. Um, that's just, you know, just for decor. So when I have it open like this, you know, it looks cohesive. And then on the back, I have the large sticky pocket from Air and Condren. On the front, I had the smaller sticky pocket. Um, this is the larger sticky pocket. And then I attached a little pin loop. Uh, these I get off Amazon. I, I'll have that link down below um, to, you know, hold my pin. But for this, I think this is just you know, any papers, receipts, anything I need to take with me, anything I uh, get while I'm out, I can just use that to catch all until I get home and can organize it as I need to. So there's a look at my new fall planner. This is how it's set up. I'm super excited about using it. I'm super excited about testing it out. Um, this is not a system that I have used you know, for daily planning before the traveler's notebook system. Um, I haven't really used that before for daily planning. So this is going to be trial and error. Quite frankly, I could get a month in and decide I hate it. I don't know. Um, but you know, I, I felt like I wanted to give it a try if it it's definitely solved some of the planning issues that I was having. Um, so I'm excited to see how it works. Stay tuned for a August monthly setup in my um, in my daily uh, section, I'm going to be setting this up with weekly pages and dailies, all of that. Um, so stay tuned for that and stay tuned to see how this goes. This is a planning adventure um, that I'm going to be testing this out and I can't wait to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some ideas. I hope you're excited about seeing how this works out or doesn't uh, and you know what happens next with planning Annie's planning system. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.